Thank you for joining us at Sutton RV Live on a Friday, gorgeous Friday. We had a heck of a week of a heck of hot weather. But you know what? We got through it. We're tougher because of it. And I got to tell you, it brought people together into small rooms with cool air. I know that. We're standing here at Sutton RV and I wanted to kind of just do a little drive through and kind of show you everything we're doing right now. I know you've seen some empty lots in other videos, but I think it's time you see some full lots in this video. Um, I think there's some things going on this weekend. I'm not sure, Tom, if I'm right, but I think we have Benton County Fair coming today. And then we've got the Polk County Fair coming on Monday. And then we've got, uh, let's see, the Douglas County Fair coming on Wednesday. And I also want to do a shout out to a bakery called Country Bakery in Halsey, um, Oregon. Um, from what I hear, it's the ultimate kind of place to go. They're open only on Saturday and Sunday. I'm heading there on Saturday morning. I want to check it out and see what they're about. I'm kind of a bakery type guy right now in town. My favorite bakery is Hideaway Bakery. But I'm going to go up to this country bakery and see how they are. Introduce myself. If you see me, make sure you know, make yourself known. Talk to you soon. Okay, let's go on a ride. So Tom, we decided to get some more golf carts because quite frankly, we have huge acreage now. And I want to, I want to, we don't want to run over the cord because that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Rip right out of my hand. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, thanks for following us on this. Uh, I hope you don't get any car sick or seasick or anything else, motion sickness. Um, please do not uh, be afraid to, you know, if you need to, just jump off, Tom. Uh, but you know, make sure the camera stays with us. All right. Looks like we have some wild ones on our left. Definitely. Boy, we're getting low on those. We better order quick. Surveyor on your right. Again, we're low on those, so we better order some. Surveyor's just a great unit. So is Wildwood. Northern Light, one of my all-time favorites. I love that camper made like a boat, sealed like a boat. It's not a boat. Got the Eagle Cap. Extravagant, gorgeous, she-she, and all those pretty things. We have one Born Free left here, the Jewel. That's a nice unit. Small love it compact well worth it ah oh, we got a line of denali's look at them they're standing at attention almost like they're waiting for us to come and show them off absolutely gorgeous nice all-weather trailer beautiful interiors absolutely luxurious you gotta love them love the color combination also love denali got your residentials on your right big gorgeous group of fifth wheels with Amazing living rooms and bedrooms and king size and California king beds and huge stereo systems and massive kitchens and all that other stuff. Still Denali on your left. Let's see. Tom, I'm going to go a little quicker. Hope nobody gets sick here. All right, everybody hold on. All right. Oh, gosh, I wonder what this looks like on film. I apologize if it's just horrible. But if you've watched it so any... <laughs> any other time you know how I do things okay or how I and I, I Tom and I do things uh, we have some of our used inventory on your right and your left in the background we have some voltage ah, I like it they look great again standing at attention absolutely gorgeous beautiful toy haulers big huge garages big huge living rooms dining rooms kitchens all that other stuff in fact I'm gonna go around that way right now Tom, are we burning too much film or are we okay? We're good. Okay, good. Okay, and by the way, folks, next week I'm going to be featuring someone I'm not going to talk about, but I want to hear from you. I want to hear what your favorite burger joint is. Where do you go to get a burger in Eugene or let's say 20 miles around Eugene, somewhere like that? And don't tell me in and out because I know in and out and I love in and out, but I'm talking like seriously original mon pa. So give me that good burger place and I will go there and try their burger and I will put it on video. Okay, looks like we had our voltages on our left. Now we have our Wildcat fifth wheels, things I love. The thing I love about these is that they're short, easy to pull, but have all the amenities of a big fifth wheel. Love these things, absolutely gorgeous. All right, and high ceilings, love that too. Oh, we got Rubicons on our left. I feel like I'm doing the um, the animal ride on Disneyland, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so we got your Rubicons on your left, good mid-level toy hauler, and our pods, of course. Look at that, lined up like little tin soldiers. Very cool. Great suspension systems, great interiors. We rarely see them in service. 
there's usually nothing wrong with them probably because the suspension is over engineered as far as uh, the unit okay we've got stealth on your right also and then finally the new wildwood um, toy hauler which is I think a new addition was it this year or last year Tom? last year last year okay very very low priced well made um, smaller garage but very good for a small family with a couple good toys then we have our Ford Travel and you know what Tom I want to feature that one on Monday what a gorgeous unit that thing is I even know the owner the owner's a great guy one owner we'll do that on, on that sound good? Sounds good. Okay, folks. Today's going to be a fun, exciting day. I've got a couple units I'm going to be showing, so I'll see you out there in the field. Take care. You know, Tom, we're doing all this driving around, looking at the lots and everything, and, and I realized that I'm hungry. And the reason why I know I'm hungry is because I can smell pizza from a mile away. And I know that it's in here, so let's go. Because And I won't in front, in, I will not eat in front of the camera, but... I was right. Garlic, oregano, basil, all that stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. What's going on here? I see. So apparently I was right. We are having pizza and that is why my stomach is growling. Okay guys, I'm going to introduce you. We're putting on a little appreciation pizza thing for these guys because quite frankly they worked their butts off this week and they should get notoriety. What's your name? Uh, my name's Trevor. Trevor, what do you do over here? I'm a lot attendant, so I nice. wash it, which pretty much. That pretty much means everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're out there in 107, 108 degrees this past couple days when all of us are in our, our living rooms and watching TV and hanging out by the air conditioner. These guys are out here washing. And they have to wash really fast because it drives really fast. All right, Dakota, we have uh, shown Dakota be before, but introduce my yourself. My name is Dakota Hinckley. What do you do, Dakota? I'm the reconner here. Nice. Reconner. Reconner. That sounds like really important. All right. What's your name? Zach. Zach. I knew that, but we're <laughs> So, Zach, what do you do here? A lot of attendants. A lot of attendants also? Yeah. Do you see how many units we have? We need all these guys just to wash them. Uh, my name is Fernando, and I'm a lot attendant as well. Awesome. These guys are awesome, by the way. They work really well together. They clean everything up nice, make it look good every day. They go to one end, and then by the end of the week, they're back on the same end, going to the other end, and back and forth. Just kind of like the, what do you call it, the um, Golden Gate Bridge, when they paint it all year, and then they go back to the other side. Brock, what's your name? <laughs> My name is Brock Smith, and here at George Center, I operate the forklift, and I uh, set the lots. Awesome. So they put together a pizza party for you guys, right? Good, and you get to be inside, out of the sun, all kind of stuff. So the point, the point of kind of introducing you to these guys is basically these are the guys you don't ever see um, because they're in between units and they're washing and they're doing their work quietly and they're focused on that. They don't get a lot of notoriety and they don't get a lot of uh, attention at all. But I thought it was quite important that we, you know, note that, that they are doing their hard work and they're doing it out in the sun. Hi, Claudia and Lisa. Hi. Claudia is right here also. She also cleans the inside of the trailers. Claudia? Hi What's there. What's your name, Claudia? Oh, I'm Claudia. <laughs> How are you guys today? Good. What do you do for us? Detail trailers, um, everything else around the lot that needs to be done. So while these guys are inside and it's 100, or outside, it's 107 degrees, these girls are inside and it's 120 degrees. But they got the music going and the fan going. Lisa? Uh, How are you? I'm good. What do you do for us? Clean your trailers. There you go. <laughs> See? Everybody makes them look better, and that's kind of what we're about. And we're also about just kind of making sure, you know, we all work together. So thanks for being part of Sutton RV on Friday, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. All right, this is Marcus at Sutton RV, and I bet you can't guess where I'm at. Gosh, I love the reverb of the sound here. I bet you have no idea. It's your time. All right, there it is. We're under an Eagle Cap 1160. What an awesome unit. This thing is made in Yakima, Washington. Handmade product, absolute luxury, absolutely gorgeous. We ship these things all over the world. They're amazingly made and awesome on the back of a truck, I gotta tell you. It's kind of like a trailer on stilts in a weird way. I know that sounds totally weird and I'm probably gonna get busted for saying that, but I don't care. It's like a trailer on stilts. You've seen the homes on stilts and they're always luxurious. This is a trailer on stilts. Hugh, to my left, is Hugh. And Hugh is a salesman who's gonna show us around 1160 today. Hugh, how are you? Perfect, how are you doing, Mike? Good to see you, man. Absolutely. Ah, see, what a great guy. Told how's you guys. Going, All right, show us what's going on here. So we're down here sweating our heads off. Aren't we? Thought we'd come out in the heat and make a video for you. Yeah, heck yeah. 
Take one for the team. So we're going to show the eagle cap. It's going to be hunting season pretty soon. People are going to start coming in for these. Real quick on the outside, got the compartment doors open just to show you good use of space. When you're here, you can feel the hard construction, solid plywoods in here. Yep. This isn't particle board. Everything feels super sturdy. Absolutely. Inch thick doors, slam latches, magnetic catches, ease of use. Make use of every little space they got. You're going to love that. That's a good solid door, by the way. It is. 2500 Cummins generator here. Um, does that come standard? It does. Beautiful. Self-sufficient units here. Very good tank capacities, by the way. These things have better tank capacities than I have on pretty much any 30, 35 foot trailer in a lot. So if you want to go out and do some dry camping, uh, be self-sufficient, this is the kind this of This is the way to go. This Boy, that's good to, to know. Go. I didn't even know that. Yeah, absolutely. Great huh. tank capacities on awesome. these. Awesome. Um, the other thing with the Eagle Cap, now this isn't built for a small lightweight. You know, you're going to put this on a Tacoma or, yeah. or something like that. You need a three quarter ton or better. You need a long bed. But when you have that and you want the luxury out in the woods, Dry camping, dry camping luxury. I love it the happens. two together. It happens. Real quick, I don't want to bore you too much, but but look at the storage under here. That is a gigantic storage. This area. is a truck camper, guys, um, and that's your basement. Heated, Man. enclosed, lighted. Everything's protected. There's your dump valves. True four seasons. Good use of space. Great use of space. And you can kind of see how everything is ducted there too. It looks really good. LED marker lights inside, outside, everything's LED. And that's about the heaviest ladder I've seen in a long time. Uh, that looks pretty beefy. Yeah. I think good, that can take... That's a ladder for a man. <laughs> I love it. So come on inside. We'll all take right. a peek at all the, the pretty stuff. Boy, this floor looks great. This is welcome to my castle in the woods. My I mean, gosh, We're in a truck is. camper. This is. We're in a truck camper. That's what, when you get in these things and you cannot figure out how this thing goes on the back of a truck, except when you see it happen, it just kind of happens like magic. Theater seating. We just got our own little trays here. TV on the wall right there. I mean, really? And we can, yeah, you need to do that first. So, Tip, swing it up. I'm so glad. See, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm you know, I'm new to this. No, nice. now you're, look at that. Shower got our stuff. I love it. Drink holders. Man, I could sit here all day long. Yeah. See, now just imagine with the AC on. Oh man, this is then so we'd cool. actually be happy. So much room. <laughs> Would you mind panning around, Tom? Yeah, you've got to take a peek at look this. Look from our vantage point. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see through the camera, but you would you don't feel like you're in a truck camper in here, folks. Not one bit. It honestly does feel like a trailer. It does. High up in the air. I've got decent ceiling height in here. Yep. We actually have, I want to show you. Because again, sorry, Tom. Go for it. Let you finish your pan. Um I'm skipping ahead a little bit. But bathrooms, I mean Especially dry camping. This is a, a piece that you might find yourself using. That's an using. actual bathroom. A dry bath. This isn't a, a toilet inside a shower. I mean, you have a sink. You got your own vanity in here. You've got linen storage, retractable uh, shower head. I mean, it's just great. The Even room counter room. space to cook mm -hmm. on. Period. All one piece form counter too. This is all one solid nice. piece of, of uh, salt service countertop. You got the extension here. I've got more counter space in here than in a lot of trailers. In a lot of trailers. And if you need more, we come right over here. Does this make into a bed? Yes, it does. Nice big dinette. Beautiful. We've got pull-out drawers for storage. You don't have to go down through the seat. Um, they've just done a, a great job. When we go up into the bedroom, you have a full 60 by 80 residential queen. Again, what? most trailers, 74 inches long. So, so you, you have, have a bigger bed size, than most trailers. Yeah. Bigger tank capacities. You've got the generator. Look at all the storage of the hanging around the corner of the wall there. So you have your own bedroom TV as well. And I love the and design is because you can literally be in bed, reach forward, grab your thing from the fridge, <laughs> you go, go back to bed. Perfect. <laughs> I'm it telling is. you, they think of everything in these things. In this TV, you want to watch from the dinette, comes swings right out. You want to watch from your theater seating, it's locked right on the wall there. Real easy access. I know it's easy, folks, to think that all Trek campers are the same, but I gotta tell no. you, this is not one you of those. You need to come see the Eagle Cap. Absolutely. These things will blow your mind. The the room, the space, the build quality. Yep. I mean, the insulation pack, let's not miss that too. The insulation pack, insulated windows. Um, top to bottom, three year structural warranty. These things are built great. They're gonna last, and they're pretty. Uh, and they're you from Yakima, both. Washington. Yeah. Handmade right product, street. small company. We get them regularly. Oh yeah. Come Big down and see Hugh, because I'm telling you right now, if you want to see a truck camper that'll blow your socks off, yep. come down and see Hugh and look at one of our Eagle Caps. Yep. Thanks we'll for joining us, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Hugh. Absolutely. All right. My pleasure. Bye-bye.